Good evening, everybody. I'm Drawing Chaos, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory Let's Play Fridays. And on the last episode, we were able to complete our beautiful starter tower, making every single item in tiers 1 through 6, including all the space elevator parts. But that was not it. We also were able to make this lovely little round cathedral type building building for our space elevator so it actually makes me feel like not getting rid of the space elevator as soon as I unlock everything in it which is magnificent so if you do like what you see and you like how the building's coming along don't forget to subscribe because I get out these let's play videos every single week on Friday so join me every single Friday for even more fun well, with that being said, why don't we get straight into the video. So, like I said, I had finished the wonderful tower as well as the beautiful space elevator stuff, and it's time to move on to something new. And what else could we possibly move on to than none other than the wonderful stuff that has been falling from the sky for the past 10 days? Right, Mr. Bean? That's actually wrong. Failure. You fail. Good day, sir. Because what we are doing today is something totally different. See, I have a huge plan for the Fixmas event. I want to do a huge, uh, sort of like Fixmas special. But I don't have time to finish that for this Let's Play. So I decided to put it on for next week's. And I think it's going to be amazing. So next week, Friday, 10 a.m., I should have a video out with a nice, wonderful Fixmas special. But for right now, I want to thank my good buddy, Total Eclipse, because he brought out this amazing video showing different architectural styles and I will have a link in the description for it and it is just an amazing video that shows off all the different kind of stuff that he was looking into and all that and it gave me such a beautiful idea why not build a house I know what a crazy idea but it's a fun idea nonetheless so First things first, we have to wait until daytime because it's a little too dark to go find a place to actually put our house. But with the power of editing, it is now daytime and everything is looking swell. So first things first, why do I want to build a house? Well, for two main reasons. First reason is this game is turning into more and more like Minecraft, except for a realistic version of Minecraft and way less toxic. Let me tell you. The second reason is actually we spend so much time on this planet. So many times just running around and doing stuff. It'd actually be nice to have a place to live. Even if you can't normally, you know, actually live there. But if I was really in this situation, oh, I would definitely build a house. 100% fix it couldn't stop me. They could even complain I'm being inefficient. So I want to be able to incorporate the hub into this and <laughs> get rid of some of these trees. I want it to actually work with the environment, but I want it to be really nice. So I'm going to have to figure out how to take that and I'm going to have to look around the world for places that I can build. So let's see what we can come up with. So for some of you who have not gone around this world, there are some key interesting spots all around here that could make beautiful house locations, as well as beautiful base locations, depending on how you look at it. But I'm looking for something simple, nice, and very beautiful. That's why I am interested to see what I can come up with. I mean, just look at some of these gorgeous spots. Really get your mind wondering. But for this, I'm going to have to start off with some mods because I want to be able to fly and none of this really matters. So spot number one that I'm looking over, we have tons of these wonderful waterfalls over here. And I think this would be a beautiful location because as you can see right here, there are some spots where you can actually put a decently sized house and there's some really good areas and this is actually located in the middle so it's right here by the nexus would actually be easy to get to so it could be a prime location but i also want to look around at different locations as well because i don't want to just pigeonhole myself to one individual spot i want to be able to have a house maybe out of the way before i worry about keeping it close to my other bases so one place that is actually quite far away and looks 
absolutely beautiful is over here by the Flaccid Archipelago on the west side of the map. More of a southwest area, but it does have this beautiful waterfall that I did make my power plant into that could be used beautifully for a house. But if you don't like that, there are also these nice little small islands, including this one all the way over here that would make a perfect area for a nice little small house. If you don't mind some rendering lag if you get a little too far away. But, you know, it always pops back in there. And you might have to take care of a couple locals. But there's also this nice little island over here that is actually a little bit bigger, but it does have the oil node on it. So it depends on what you want to do, but these islands are pretty good. Over here is another beautiful area with a huge central waterfall. Actually, multiple waterfalls. I think they call this like Paradise Spring. There's absolutely nothing over here in terms of resources, but man is this a gorgeous area. The only problem is if you get too far in, uh, there is a death wall, so you gotta be careful on where you build. But if you go off to the side, you actually have more room than you would think. So as you can see, we can edge a little towards in there and, you know, kill off some trees. You're pretty good. This is a solid, solid area. I was thinking about making my uh, nice little house over in this area, but I don't know. I mean, it does look gorgeous and really good, but hmm. Anyway, it is a great area and I highly recommend it. Just watch out for that death wall because it can be quite a huge pain in the butt. But with that being said, on to our next lovely area over here in the void. And the reason I love this one so much is because that beautiful fog. It covers everything like a nice mist or if you're in Australia, a nice coating of wonderful spider webbing, which, you know, we do have giant spiders in this game, so it kind of works out. It really gives you that nice big Jurassic Park vibe and it's really good. Unfortunately, there are some texture issues with the fog where you can see some solid lines, but yeah, I'm sure that'll get fixed eventually. With all that said and done, I want to actually show you where I am going to build my beautiful house. That is going to be over here in this nice reddish pink forest. Because out of all the places in this, this is the most like serene and most like, it, it's just a central location. It looks beautiful as hell. You know, me, I love red, so, you know. And it's just so gorgeous. And I saw this nice little lake over here with the waterfall and everything. Oh, it is just, it's perfect. It really is. I just have to clear out some trees and make way for what I want to build over here because I'm going to need some room to actually make something. So give me a minute while I clear out some landscape and, uh, you know, Try and make at least a base to start on. A good foundation, if you will. So we are now ready to start building, finally. And I have cleared myself out a huge, wonderful area to use. Unfortunately, there's some lovely trees over here that are in the way. Now normally, I would just take out a chainsaw and cut them down. Unfortunately, they are not invincible. So of course I hear you say, why not use explosives? Explosives solve everything. Well, it turns out they're also invincible to that. Whoa, that present almost hit down at like the perfect time. Uh, so yeah, so now I have a bunch of trees over here that I cannot get rid of. But I can get rid of this wonderful present. Go away, Fixmas. You're not till next week. But this is going to cause a huge problem once I build my foundations. I'm going to have to, have to build over them and figure out exactly how I'm going to do that because I need a wonderful foundation area before I begin. Something flat and nice to work with because I can't just build straight onto here especially with these trees now and this is going to be a thick foundation. Uh, as you can see it actually wants to go even further over the trees. So let me start with the foundation and then we'll figure out what the next step is going to be. Well, that did not take long at all, and I was even able to come up with a nice, interesting design. And the best part about this design is, look at this, I now have lakefront property. Yeah, the price of this mansion is going to skyrocket. 
Uh, but unfortunately, I was not able to get rid of all those trees, so I'm going to have to go even higher on that because I wanted to do just like some nice little walls and go from there, but it looks like I'm going to actually have to take another group of foundations and put it on there. And I'm probably going to have to build out the framework of the house before I actually start building on the actual house house. So, uh, and I'm also thinking about, do I need to get rid of some more of these trees and go bigger? I don't really want to, but I also want a giant house, so, you know, my hands are tied. So, and now I have the foundation for the actual house on top of this nice little patio section. And as you can see right here, I decided to give it a decent sized curve, similar to how I have the patio, and I think it'll work out really well. Unfortunately, even building out this one, there are still some trees that poke through. So I gotta actually lift up that part of the house a little bit higher, just so you don't kinda see that stuff. So that is gonna be one thing that I have to take care of. And uh, from the looks of it, it's gonna have to be a four meter foundation, which is annoying, but of course, it's still doable. So now I have this curved section over here, which I'm thinking of doing glass or something like that. And then of course I wanted to put something out here, a way to actually get to the patio. Now, I was thinking if I put one of these out here like this, what I can do is I can actually grab the stairs and have the stairs going down as a way to come out and just go straight down. Unfortunately, I don't want it sticking out that much, so come on, come on, connect, connect. Apparently it doesn't want to connect, but we have ways around that. We have ways of making you talk, Mr. Bond. So we'll get rid of these little sections right here, and then now I can clip to that one, much better. And then I can have it just stick out just a little bit. And then I can just basically come out here to the patio. Of course, I, it's a little too steep, so I'd probably replace it with uh, actual foundations in a nice sloping manner. I wish we had foundation stairs. That would help so much, and they would look so cool. But one of the main things that I have to do for the foundation now is I have to add in structural points. If you've ever built a house in, say, like Minecraft or any other place, you know that what you want to do is you want to have, like, load-bearing pillars and stuff like that in the corners, the center part, basically anywhere that the structural support needs to be going. And that is always the place that you want to start when building a house. So, of course, I got a couple different ones like that, and then I got to figure out exactly how I want the walls, because I don't want the walls up against the edge. I'm thinking about putting them actually in there. And one of the cool ways to do that is just put one of these lovely little road barriers in there. It's not too hard. Go into your walls, grab a regular wall, hold control, and you can replace the wall, or you can replace the road barrier, with the wall. And it works out really perfectly, giving you a nice, cool idea on what you can do. And if you want to change exactly where they go, like you want to offset them or anything like that, uh, you can do so as well. Because I think if I put it right here, that actually might work out. Although I have to test it in different parts because for some reason, I bet you something's going to go wrong with that. Also, I hate if you have a different color scheme because it changes with the color scheme that you had attached to the road barrier. Uh, and then I'm thinking out here I can have like a nice front patio over here as well. I mean, this is just going to be above and beyond with the way this house is going to be built. But let me see what I can do with that and have a good starting point for that. Well, it's the dawn of a new day and every... Actually, you know what? The dawn is really cool. I just noticed that. It is going to be so beautiful over here. And we've gotten a nice little framework going right here. As you can see, I got this huge curved area. It was a pain in the butt. I had to do a lot of those road barriers just to get it. But what I'm thinking of for this area is actually switching it over for glass. No, not the hex ones. Probably like the regular ones, just so it's like nice and simple, see-through, easy and all that. Let me just find the center center and then get that going there. And then it'll basically be something like that. And then I basically can put all of these down and have something good looking going. And I can have this actually going up pretty high. But let me build the second layer for this because I want to show you one more thing on what I want to do. If I get rid of this one right here, look at that. I actually have an invisible little door that I can go in and out of my nice little house. Because there's no other glass doors, unfortunately. But it does look pretty cool. 
and this gives me a beautiful framework ready to go. I just need to build up and start building like the walls and the floors and all that kind of stuff. Just the basic stuff, really, so that I know exactly how I want to do it. And I'm thinking on whether or not I want to go through three stories or how tall I want to go with the glass. Although tall glass would be great, especially seeing those trees out there. But one thing I did want to show off is I put this extra little spot down here. And the way that I did that is it's actually like two meters in. All right. So what I did was I just brought the foundation out and over, then grabbed, uh, oh, what do you want to call this thing? Catwalk. Yes, the catwalk thing. So I just basically put that out there, got rid of that, and then of course I can just line it up. And as you can see I can line it up perfectly, but of course I have to put another catwalk piece over just so I can get it in place. And then I got it down there and that just adds an extra two meters all the way around, like a nice flat border. And of course I can curve that down if I want to. I mean, I'll figure out something like that. But for right now, it works really good adding in some extra like oomph to the building without having to deal with anything else. But I'm gonna work on the glass and the framework, probably put in some more of these pillars down here because God knows these things will actually look really cool. Might even put them in the center with the where I have the door and everything like that because that'll actually show up really nicely. But anyway, this is a lot of work still need to be done, so let me continue working on that and see what I can come up with. This is being really fun. I'm loving this thing, by the way. It is coming out gorgeous. And here we go. The house is finally taking shape. Look at this, baby. It is looking gorgeous. Skylight, everything, even got that total eclipse white. <laughs> no offense, but I love the white for the house. It's looking good. But I'm going to add color in differently later. I just wanted to start with the white. But as you can see, I put a nice little skylight in. Unfortunately, with the roofing, it came out a little bit janky. I might have to figure out a way to fix that. But overall, not too bad. And then in this area over here, I went with a different type of roof by using the regular asphalt foundations, but not bad. But with that being said, I don't know if I want to actually put the wall over here similar to how I did that one. So if I put the foundations on this side, I, I'm, I'm going to play with it and see which one looks better, maybe a combination of both. But we have other stuff to deal with. As you can see, everything is looking good and coming together. I just need to figure off some roofs and everything and how I'm going to set up this area. Oh, look, a lizard doggo. He's so cute. Uh, but this area over here, I wanted to build like a nice little awning. And then this is going to be where the entrance of the house is. And this is going to be very important. So I'm thinking if I have a nice little roof, so maybe come down to, I mean, I'm going to have to play with this. This is definitely going to be interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. Because it comes down two foundations. Yeah, it would have to come down there, but I don't want it sticking off like that. What's the other one? Is it like a, oh, it is a four meter one. Well, I could put the four meter one down and then I could put two of the two ones Oh, that is just like the worst angle ever. It looks like a leg that was bent backwards. Oof. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can just do it on this side. There we go. Flat and four meters. Yeah, that would definitely work out much better. And once I put the doorway in there, I can put like a little overhang on the top. And I think I can make it look good. That part is going to be quite interesting. But the best part about this is what I can do over here is I can extend this over here and then this place right here is going to be my like front porch uh, sort of that with an awning and everything. Oh, it's going to be so good. I might have to reduce the height on the front of it. But for right now, I'll just build it out this high and, you know, just see how it goes. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. This whole house build has been quite interesting because I'm so used to building factories. And this thing is making nothing. Oh man, I wish we could curve it over. Or at least like corner pieces to have that come over. Uh, but I guess we can't have everything, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to continue working on this part of it. I really want the front of it to stand out quite nicely. Because that's going to be the first part you see. 
And then of course, yeah, we're gonna have to add in some skylight over here because other than that, why wouldn't we? Not bad, not bad at all. It's definitely a good start. We're getting there, we're getting to the spot we need to be, but damn, is this a lot more work than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be easy, I'd be done by now. <laughs> Little did I know. So let me continue on this. Is what I want to say, if not for the power of editing, because it is done. Now that, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous entryway. Look at that, the overhang over here. Oh, beautiful. And with all these ramp walls, I was able to fill in everything without something looking janky or wrong. This is, this is just coming out beautiful. I, I love it so much. It, 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 it's just amazing. And the entryway right here, uh, it kind of looks a little church-like. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to figure out what I can do to not make it look like that. But here is our entryway. And I might have to wall this up over here uh, just so it's, you know, broken off into pieces. Definitely want like a nice entryway, a closet space, you know, all that kind of stuff. Kitchen and then this main area right here, this is going to be the living room. But as you can see, this is amazing. You can see all the trees out there. Oh, it's awesome. Even got this nice little part over here. We can go up and whatever the hell I'm going to turn this room into. Maybe like my arts and crafts room. But another thing we got to figure out is exactly how am I going to get up to the second floor? I could put a ramp up here, maybe some stairs or even a ladder. Definitely not a ladder. But as you can see right here, I've planned this out for the master bedroom. Oh, this area is going to look so freaking good when I get done with it. Maybe put a TV on the wall or something like that. Oh, and the way the lights are in there, oh, it's so good. I got this curved area. And then, of course, you come out here and there's a nice little balcony. And you can just take in the beautiful forest. The great green, green smog. Oh, no. But overall, I turned a beautiful house into a mansion, and I am so giddy about it. I'm just worried about how long it's going to actually take to put all the little stuff in there. Like, you know, benches and stuff like that, because you know you got to do that. It's not a true house until you have all that wonderful stuff. Although, I do need to figure out a way to get around some of this concrete. Uh, but that's a problem for later. Let me figure out exactly what I'm going to do with the rest of this, and we'll see what goes. And here we go. We have everything done. Nah, just kidding. But at least I got the hub over here, and it's looking good. I have put in the hub. Everything is ready to go. Even put a nice little railing over there, because God knows you don't want to fall off that. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. Safety first. Although form over function sometimes isn't a bad thing. And as you can see, I finished off the nice little car park over here, because I tried to figure out exactly where I was going to park the cars when I came over here. Uh, and I, I mean, I got something. Oh, I also want to show you exactly how I'm going to get here. Because this is the Red Forest, I mean, you can't just, like, drive your way in. I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be difficult. So I wanted to make it a little bit easier. So I put some batteries in a nice little Explorer, and on our way. Oh, no. No. Oh, I might have to fix that road a little bit, but that's a problem for later. Anyway, I decided to build a simple road, uh, put a couple little curves in the road so it actually can go over. Uh, if you've ever seen uh, Total Eclipse, I've, I know I've been like calling him out a lot this episode, but he has some wonderful ideas on curve roads as well as curve foundations, so kind of the go-to guy on that. And he showed me how to do some of that stuff, and it works out beautifully. And then, of course, we come all the way over here, and we're pretty much right at our starter factory. Uh, just a couple little obstacles in the way, but overall, not too bad. <laughs> I take that back, a little too bad. But I think we'll be alright. And as you can see right here, it leads me right to my starter factory, which is great. But unfortunately, we need to get back there because I want to show you the rest of what I built because it's a lot and it is just amazing. So, back to the house. 
And as you can see right here, we are coming up the driveway and oh, that is a beautiful view coming right into there. I'm gonna have to edit a couple things and change up the house a little bit, but for the most part, oh, that is so good. Yes, maybe put some parking spaces over here. But then again, who's gonna park other than me? But now we make our way inside the house only to see nothing is done. Well, not necessarily true. I was able to put in a ramp to the second level, add in some extra walls, and even put in some railings using walls because actually it was a beautiful idea. And it looks oh so nice in that white. Really accents everything, especially with the skylight and all that. Oh, so gorgeous. And it's going to be great once I put furniture and everything in here. This is really coming out quite nicely. But anyway, I was able to build one room right over here. And this is sort of my, ah, uh, I don't know, like a little workshop, I would say. It even has an equipment workshop. Look at that. I got some craft benches, more equipment workshop, a couple biomass burners, even vented out the area over there. And then I'll put biomass in these nice little storage areas. And then of course, awesome shops in case I wanna buy something. I have a couple of those over here. And the MAM, in case I wanna do some research like the Fix It Holiday event. But that is next week, so I'm not too worried about that right now. But other than that, there is pretty much nothing else that is done. Oh wait, no. There's one more thing I was able to complete. The best thing. But of course, that means we have to go upstairs, so let's make our way. Oh, really? What? Wait, if I get rid of this wall, will it work? Oh, what is that? Oh man, it was just enough space. I gotta figure out a way around that. Uh, we'll figure out something later. But anyway, I was able to complete this one thing in here, and I'm so proud and so happy of it. But look at how good it looks up here, especially with all the glass walls being able to see, especially looking now into the horizon. Oh, that's so good. But on to the Coupe de Gras, the master bedroom. Oh my god, this place is looking amazing. We have the nice king-size bed, a portrait of the lovers, best friends forever. Got a nightstand, a lamp, some more wonderful, interesting pictures. Pain in the butt to make. And then, of course, we have the nice flat-screen TV and, yes, speaker system. I got a hazardous storage bin, of course, for dirty laundry. I mean, come on, that's just a given. Another nightstand. And then we have these over here, trophy cases. This is going to be for when I get those pioneer statues. I'll have one for each one of them, and I think it'll look amazing. I got some uh, dresser drawers over here. It's actually looking really good. And a medical storage bin. I don't know what for, but just there. A uh, nice little stand from a factory cart. I got a killer-ass couch over here looking good. And this whole room is looking amazing. But I have to give a big old thanks to a fellow YouTuber called Kaya Sebastian who actually made a wonderful video on how to build some of this stuff. It was really interesting. I found it when I was looking at how to build a bed in this. So as you can see right here, uh, she shows off uh, different ways to build stuff, such as like carpet and uh, chairs and couches and even a bed and everything like that. And she did a fantastic job. Uh, it's her only video and she gave it out here for the community and I really appreciate it. So I wanted to give her a big old Old shout out because she did a fantastic job this is super helpful and she didn't have to do this but this is amazing so go check it out give her a nice little like and follow and let her know that she's appreciated by the community because this is a very wholesome community and we just gotta we just gotta spread the love but anyway, that is going to be it for me today, guys. I wish I could spend more time finishing the rest of this. There is still so much left to do, like the living room, the kitchen, uh, dining room, all that kind of stuff. And granted, this took so many hours to do. But anyway, that is going to be it for me today. I'm going to kick back and watch some TV. Bye, guys. Bye, buddy.